The Western Cape Premier Alan Windy has suspended Transport MEC Bongkosi Matikizela for 14 days after he allegedly falsified his qualifications. Matikizela is accused of lying about holding a bachelor's degree of commerce in human resource management. Now for more on the story, we're joined by Premier Alan Windy. A very good afternoon to you, Premier. Based on the statement that you received, you say that you had a meeting uh, with the Matikizela yesterday and you gave him an opportunity to explain and give his side of the story. What did he have to say? So obviously what I've done is I, you know, I, I, I spoke to him about it and I think he, he has uh, sort of admitted. But uh, I also believe in, in uh, fair and due process. So I have uh, informed him that I will suspend him for two weeks or 14 days. Uh, and in order for a, proce a process to take place so that we get to all of the facts, and then, of course, um, you know, he must be able to put his, his side of the, of the story, how this happened, etc. And uh, then I will have to then make a decision, uh, you know, post the, that process. And, of course, uh -huh. you know, that, that must be, uh, you know, due process is what is allowed. Uh, I mean, is what, is, is what must be uh, put in place. And, uh, of course, then I must make decisions post that. And what are the factors that you will be considering when making those decisions, Premier? Well, of course, I mean, we've, we've got uh, to ask him about his bio. Um, and, of course, uh, you know, we've seen the article that has been written. And uh, so I, must, I, I don't want to preempt any, any of that process uh, because, you know, that, uh, that must be allowed to be uh, conducted through a fair uh, process for him. So I don't really want to preempt that, uh, allow him uh, the space in which uh, he can put his case. Uh, I've uh, asked uh, our legal team to, to put the team together, so that is already in place, and uh, so that will take place over the next few days. So you say that Matigizela has indeed acknowledged and uh, acknowledged the fact that he did falsify his, his qualifications, that that was not true? So he took responsibility that uh, it wasn't uh, correctly printed on the on the uh, website, um, but I don't want to sort of go any any further into detail. Uh, let's allow the process to to take that further. Why is this an issue that you are not taking line down? Well, of course, you know when you get elected, you you make statements. I've uh, I've asked that we have uh, lifestyle audits, and uh, I believe that uh, when you're in a position like this, you have to have integrity, and you've got to lead with integrity. And so we we need to be able to make sure that we have proper process in place, and we ask the right questions, and we allow that process to take place, and then we we, we deal with the outcome. There must be consequences. Can you point to a precedence within the Democratic Alliance where a falsification of qualifications has been an issue and how that was dealt with? I mean, I obviously see what uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm going to you know, talk to a DA specific cases, um, but I mean, I note uh, what the DA says about, uh, about this thing often. Uh, but I must apply my mind as the premier in a province, uh, in, in, uh, you know, voted in by the voters, and I've got to apply my mind to that as the leader of this cabinet. And I must apply those rules, ne not necessarily just from our political party, but uh, in general, as, as how I would want to run uh, this government. One would, uh, perhaps looking at a situation like this, say it is multi-pronged. There, there is one aspect which you've highlighted, the issue of honesty and, and integrity and, and conducting yourself in a man manner that is transparent as well as accurate. And then there's the other argument that some might bring to the fore, that if you are performing and, and that you are actually delivering on your mandate, whatever your position may be, that that also ought to be considered. Will you be considering those aspects as you make your decision? So again, I mean, I, I understand that, uh, you know, I mean, I've been a colleague of uh, Bongin Kosi Marikizela for a number of years. We've served in cabinets together. Um, you know, I, I understand that and, and that a qualification is not a prerequisite for a position uh, in a, or for an elected person in, in any position, whether you come into parliament or you're in government. Um, it's not based on your qualifications. But, uh, you know, I mean, that, uh, that may be part of uh, what is put on the table in the process, but uh, that is not what I, you know, I've looked at it from 
you know, how do I deal, deal with it from my position? I've got uh, information that there's an incorrect uh, biography uh, on our website, uh, a press article, and uh, we need to make sure we get all of the facts in, in order for me to apply my mind. Um, you know, what happens in that process is going to, is going to maybe affect uh, the outcome, but I mean, that will be brought in uh, in the next uh, few days in the process. Uh, either by uh, our side or by uh, Minister Maliki Zella as he, as he puts his case to the team as well. So if we have to be specific and talk specifics here, Premier, 14 days, when exactly does that fall? Is that falling around the, the 29th of, of, of April? When, when is that? Cor correct. So uh, this must be concluded by the 29th of April. So what should we be expecting on the 29th? Will, we, will there be some sort of a briefing or are there going to be other deliberations post that 29th of April date? Okay, so I've given uh, Minister Malikizela the 14 days in which uh, to conclude this process. I've also uh, said to our team uh, in the province that I want them to conclude it within 14 days. So hopefully within 14 days I can make a further announcement. Will you already have made your decision in those 14 days or are you going to need further time after those 14 days to apply your mind to the findings and then make an announcement? So I'm, I'm, pre I'm pretty keen on getting this dealt with as quickly as possible, um, but I can't answer that question because it depends on what comes out of the process. But um, I'm aiming for uh, before the end of the month, we must be have, have been able to uh, you know, have the process concluded and I must be able to have applied my mind. All right, Premier Windy, we'll leave it at that uh, for this afternoon. That's uh, Premier Alan Windy uh, on the 14-day suspension of Bum Gosi Magdi Gizela uh, following allegations and uh, a confirmation from his side as well that indeed the, the qualifications that he says he has, he does not have. The Premier has uh, said that on the 29th of April, that's the deadline for the, the consultation process as well as the investigation, uh, he will then apply his mind to those findings and then determine the future for uh, Magdi Gizela.